Welcome back to the theme park wizard. Thank you to my chat. I'm on the Disneyland, the Disneyland update today. We have yet a whole new set of construction photos or update videos, uh, photos from the Disneyland Resort. Mostly Disneyland, but there's one picture at the very end for, for DCA um, that we can that you can check out right now. Um, <laughs> if you skipped in, I'll, I'll actually put the the timestamps below for these things if we want. But welcome over to Disneyland, and I'm super excited for it to be open on July 17th. We're gonna take a look at the construction products around the park, from the the Frontierland Bridge Widening Project to some uh, New Orleans Square stuff, to Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, Adventures Campus, and Fantasyland, the Fantasyland projects as well. <laughs> And a, a nice new potential paint job of what looks like a paint job in Tomorrowland. So let's get started with the bridge project. So as you can see, they're now starting to work on the uh, the bridge projects. They announced an opening date. Now they're definitely trying to get these projects finished because you don't want to open the park and have uh, some pathways blocked off, especially when you need all the space possible to social distance in the theme park. You cannot have anything blocked up. So you see the Von Taylor and Bridge is getting widened. Um and the the uh the bridge looks like by the Madhorn area is getting widened. <laughs> but that's the new length right there. You can see that the um be significantly wider than it currently is. The whole patch of dirt will probably be, will be that new bridge. Be significantly wider than it is right now. So that'll be exciting to see and it yeah fits perfectly with social distancing guidelines because it gives more space for people to walk, which is awesome. Now it's good that Project Stardust happened because it does the same thing. Here's that Tomorrowland project. Nothing really new, just looks like you can comment below. But to me it just looks like looks like the Space Mountain Plaza got a really good paint job. Looks very vibrant, very blue. Um <laughs> I know that it had the same designs and everything, I believe, but it just looks like it got a paint job to me. I'm not really sure, but comment below if you think so as well. If so, either way, I really like that blue of uh, the Space Mountain Plaza. Moving to Fantasyland, or yeah, Fantasyland, the two project, Fantasyland projects look like they're, I, it's hard to tell if they're being worked out. There's no trucks or anything. Um, or workers, so I don't know if stuff's happening on the interior, especially specifically for like Snow White, maybe they're entering through a backstage area and um, working on the, the interior of the project, the, the technical aspects and the show scenes and doing the exterior last, but as of right now, if, if that's not happening, those projects still haven't started up yet, hopefully they'll be able to get both of those done in the next month. So again, we can have all the attraction ride capacity that we have again for social distancing and uh, for the park capacity. It's uh, it, we need to have all the attraction capacity that we can possibly have, and also it just look nice. It look uh, like a brand new park, um, Disneyland's rebirth. Moving over to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, nothing has really changed much much since the last update. There have been like some. The uh, digging of dirt and looks like some tarps over that. I don't know what that's for specifically. And there's something happening in the the top right corner. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but there's some footings there. The footings are on to the the other side of the project. Yeah. If you guys know what those two things are, let me know in the comments below. To me, it looks like it's just they're moving dirt, but I'm sure it's more and more foundation work. But um, nothing. Spectacular! It's nothing. No steel has gone up. Hopefully, in the next update, we'll see some steel going up. Um, I'm not sure it's on that flatbed there. It's kind of far away, but I've, I'm trying to see if there's some steel on the flatbed there. But, yeah, yeah, let me know if you know what all this stuff for making money, making money's running railway is going on. Moving over to the haunted mansion, you see Splash Mountain to the right. It's um, all dried up. Haunted Mansion is still under scaffolding. <laughs> it's hard to tell if anyone's working on that because of the trees. Hopefully that attraction is done by the 65th anniversary <laughs> and the reopening of Disneyland as well, which is in a month and two days from now. Um, <laughs> which is pretty good and some really cool stuff. 
as the phantasmic screens. Yes, the the phantasmic mist uh, misters and fountains and screens. They are testing. It's highly unlikely phantasmical obviously return within the first few weeks of reopening, but and it's rumored these these fountains will go off, kind of like the maybe like the Bellagio fountains in World of Color. This in World of Color will go off um, at random points throughout the day, like the Bellagio fountains, just to add some atmosphere. And I would absolutely love that. If I can't see the show, I would absolutely love to see uh, just watch the uh, mist screens and fountains go up. Here's yeah, so our only look at DCA, as I promised in the uh, beginning of the video. <laughs> And it's a very kind of a far look, so um, we don't have any zoomed in pictures, unfortunately. <laughs> but Avengers Campus is mostly just still dirt. What was dirt before is still dirt now. The cast member building is just about done. They just gotta take off the like, scaffolding, but they put the HVAC, the air conditioning, and all that electrical stuff on top. It's already there. And they just gotta take off the scaffolding and work on the interior, and then it should be done. Um, and <laughs> again, in, early, or in late July, Whenever I can snag my reservation, I'll go ahead and I'll check out, um, I'll check out, obviously, Avengers Campus and some DCA projects for myself. Food and Wine Festival booths are still out there, so hopefully that will return in some shape or fashion, um, in July with the reopening. And the Hollywood Land mural, I'm not sure it's, there's, it's, uh, we're not looking at that Saturday night, so I don't know if it's painted or not, but... That's most likely done. What do you guys think of all these good, great Disneyland updates? What is your most anticipated construction project? Are you looking forward to getting back to the parks? Let me know all that below and subscribe for more updates. As always, have a fantastic day.